for our Ag Weekly segment, we're dissecting the newly passed state budget and the ways it will fund agriculture programs. Emily Griffin spoke with the state commissioner of agriculture and a local farmer to learn more. In New York State's 2025 budget, funding for agriculture has ballooned. It's the biggest budget for agriculture in the history of New York State. To start, there is $60 million designated for farm research, education, and marketing. Another $19 million will go toward research at Cornell University and identifying new ways to reduce methane emissions. And another $15 million will be dedicated in part to growing the state's bioeconomy. You know, we have a large forestry um, part of agriculture in New York State. We're quite proud of that. We're looking at, you know, expanding the use of our woods. $21 million are earmarked for increasing manure storage across the state so farmers don't have to waste it during cold months when it can't be spread. So they can hold that manure a little bit longer, wait until they have the right conditions to spread it and take full advantage of the nutrients. And especially relevant for northern New York, $34 million have been budgeted for on-site milk storage and faster milk processing to help dairy farmers avoid dumping milk on the rare occasions that milk trucks can't come. Uh, it'll help us get through snowstorms, which happen in Watertown every now and then. And this state budget has $50 million for the Nourish NY program, which helps families in need access farm fresh food. Steve Winkler has around 20% of his livestock purchased through that program. New York State can be criticized for a lot of uh, overspending and waste, but this isn't one of those programs. This is a very beneficial program, and it starts with people that are really in need, that have to be fed. Commissioner Ball and local farmers agree investing in ag as a whole must continue to be a top priority in the state. Anytime we can assist farmers is very important. To me, that's a win for all of us. Emily Griffin, 7 News.